In this uh, lesson, we will create an interactive setup. And uh, although this is a complete cell phone, I will really just use a small part of it for this setup. So the basic idea here is that, uh, let's get that doodle tool, maybe select uh, some nice color. The basic idea here is uh, that you would have an object that would, uh, virtually speaking, press down these little guys, these little buttons, these guys. And uh, as those uh, buttons are pressed, they would light up with a certain color. So it's really clear. So once I push it, it will light and uh, then that light will gradually extinguish with the progression of time. So I think uh, that is really clear. And uh, in this case, I will use just the keyboard part of this phone. So let me take it out of the hierarchy and delete the complete phone since I really want you to concentrate on these uh, buttons rather than be distracted by the phone. So first thing we will do, can even put this under hypernerve so they are nice and uh, round. Now to create some sort of uh, shading effects because if I want something to come close, collide and then change the color of this guy, then I would probably want to use the shader effector and uh, you really cannot use shader effector effectively on something that is not considered to be a clone. I mean, I can, but uh, in this particular setup, I can't. So if I want all these guys to be considered as clones, I will drop them under fracture objects. So now Cina 4D will consider them as clones. I will enable this explode segment. So every single of these guys will be considered as a one clone. I hope that uh, makes sense. So let's now add that shader effector like this. And uh, you see by default, it really scales those guys. I will uncheck that and uh, it uh, automatically uses the color and I will disable this alpha strength. And now here under this shading tab, I have to pick uh, what color these guys will be once uh, pressed, figuratively speaking. And uh, I will not use some fancy texturing here. I would rather use a simple color. It will be much more easier for you to understand uh, what is going on. And uh, let's pick some color. Let's go maybe with, uh, let's say a green one. That will do. Now, you would expect these guys to become green because uh, we did everything correctly. But the problem is in this hypernerves generator. Once we turn it off, they will become green, but we lose the smoothness. So this is a, a little bug or maybe closer to a limitation rather than a bug. But uh, I think it should uh, work this way also. We can resolve this by simply deleting these guys. So I'm deleting without children and I will add a hypernerves to this keyboard now instead. So it's under the fracture object. Now let me tune down this hypernerve. So let's say one is enough. And uh, now those guys are green. You can even uh, turn off maybe color shading so we don't see those lines. So we now successfully managed to color them. And uh, if I enable some sort of a fall off here, let's try maybe with spherical and uh, you would see how it gradually goes to dark color. Let's actually scale this guy down and uh, let me show you something. So now once it hits this guy, it will light it up. So that's really interesting. But uh, the problem is as soon as we move this guy away, we lose the effect. And I would like this effect to stay also. What I would like is, uh, which I can do right now, I can add uh, a slight position shift for this guy. So maybe I will add, uh, let's try 10 centimeters here. So it will push that button down, maybe even lower, let's try five. So even though it uh, does the job as it should, the problem is as soon as I move this guy, 
the effect is lost and I would like to have that effect stay for a moment so I'll show you how to do that with a uh, help of tracer so let's first create our virtual collider and I will maybe use a sphere with a really low radius let's say something that corresponds to this inner fall of let's go maybe with five maybe even more let's try two so I will reset the position and uh, for this shader effector I will set the fall off to be a source and just bear with me for a moment and if you remember correctly when this is set to source we can use a spline and uh, if I will use a tracer for this object and I will select my sphere because I want the tracer to automatically trace what was selected then I will with each succession of time if I move this guy I'll get a trace and uh, can actually turn off these trace vertices and I will get just a single guy let me reset the position stop this go back and if you feel a little bit lost I will now clarify under this tracer I can set the limit to be from end so if I enter let's say 10 here then this trace will last for 10 frames and uh, if I use that trace that tracer spline in the fall of of our shader effector like this and sample the detail completely and uh, this distance will probably be too much so let's go with five now if i press play and move this guy which is now traced you see it has some sort of a lag effect now if i touch maybe some of these guys let's go like this you see the effect stays even though i passed the specific button so it's a sort of effect i was looking for so something like this so it really turns off gradually and see how it really pushes things down let me stop this go back so the duration of uh, this trace here the duration of the lag is responsible for how long the pressed key will be lit so let's give it a check once again so maybe if i play with this a little bit you see it really lasts 10 frames let's try maybe 20 so the effect will be longer so it really stays a little bit longer so maybe this is a little bit generic but uh, i think this setup is really important because you can use it on many things if you would set this limit to be none then you would simply be creating the effect uh, to stay so once moved all those guys would stay lit so for example you could have a clone constellation and simply write something down with this tracer so maybe if you would align this sphere to a text spline you could write your name in a clone constellation or something like that so multiple uses of this guy and that's about it this is how you would create a button press and uh, lighting up effect for your cell phone